Hello and welcome to our next video all about blending. So this is a skill that the children learn in reception and we've got the early years team together to share some ideas and games that we play on helping your child develop this critical skill that means they're going to be able to blend sounds together and read their first words. So it's worth mentioning here when your child does start to be able to read those sounds we usually start off by introducing them with vowel consonant words like up and consonant vowel consonant words like dog that are easily decodable so that means they can segment and blend those sounds together and that will make it a little bit easier for them so when you're looking for objects and toys around the house to use that should help you so first of all, we're going to start off with oral blending. We're not looking at the letters yet, we're just blending by listening to those sounds. So we can blend sounds together and we can segment them by doing this. So I'm going to use the example of cat, k, a, t, cat. And we can clap our hands to blend the sounds together. I'll show you another example so you get the hang of things. D, o, g, dog. And the clap is us putting the sounds together. Another great game that you can play is a simple game of I spy and just change it up a little bit. So I play one when we're out in the car, I'll say something like I spy a dog, dog. What do I spy? And it means my little one's got to blend dog. Really simple. Okay, another activity you can do at home to support your child with developing the skill to blend is play your own version of Simon Says. Now I'm going to play it with Frank the Fox. Okay, just to give you a quick example of how we could do that. So Frank the Fox says, put your hands on your head. Frank the Fox says, j o m p. Frank the fox says, put your hands on your leg. Another thing I love to do to support the skill of oral blending is give lots of instructions. So a simple thing like, come and sit next to me. And that means they've got to listen, they've got to put those sounds together and follow the instruction. They love playing this game. So something really similar like, um, I need a hug. Ugh. I need a hug. What do I need? I need a hug. Maybe we could make a d e n d e n. So once your little one can orally blend, we're then going to start playing games where we're looking at those letters in phase two. So lots of games coming up. I hope you enjoy them. So this is a really simple one using some Lego, and you can see I've written on the side here, the graphemes of those sounds. And we've got an object, so we've got a pig, a really simple word that we can easily build. And all we do is we sound it out. So we go pig, what's the first letter? P, p, p. That's right. And put it onto our Lego board. What comes next? P, ig, i, i, i. That's right. Pop it in next to it. And then p, ig. What can you hear at the end? Pig. Oh, that's right. P -i -g makes pig. So using foam letters in the bath as well, you can leave a message. Time to p up those bubbles. So next up, we've got an object here. We've got a cat. I'm going to say it out loud. Cat. What's the first letter in cat? K -k -k. Now, what can you hear next? K at. That's right, a a a k a t. Hmm, which one could it be? Can you find the t t, -t sound? K a t. Brilliant. K a t makes cat. Now this game is all about matching the word to the object. So the word's written down with sound buttons, and we sound it out going p a t, p a. -t. Art. And what have we got? A pot of Play-Doh. That's right. A great thing to do after this game is to then cut up those letters. So we've still got p -ot, and jumble them up. Can your little one remember how did we spell pot? So it means lots of sounding out, listening to that initial sound, p -p -p -p, the pot, getting them in the right order 
and most importantly, sounding them out again, making sure that we've got it the right way round. P, a, t makes pot. Jumping on the letters outside is always lots of fun. So we've got d, a, g, d, a, g, d, a, g makes dog. I really hope you found this video useful and if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also you can subscribe for lots of free home learning ideas at Hull Church of England Primary School and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!